Hello, good morning. This is Abrar. Uh, today, I would like to walk you through on quick introductory of Lean and Six Sigma. Let's get started. So today we will be seeing four five elements. One, the basic of Lean. What is Lean? What goal it brings? What tool it uses? And a quick summary. Then followed by when to use Lean and Six Sigma. That's uh, also an interesting segment. And do they complement each other, Lean and Six Sigma? And then we will touch and go on overview of Six Sigma. And then for all of these four layer, we'll make a quick summary. So when it comes to Lean, Lean is a Japanese term. It eliminates the waste. The, the main motive of Lean is to reduce or to eliminate the wastages. The wastages in the Japanese term called muda. Muda meaning like the eight type of wastages. One wastages could be transportation. One is inventory. We have an inventory which are higher than the need. That is also one kind of waste. Motion, waiting time, ore processing, ore production, defects and unutilized skills all of these things in the short term we can remember this way team woods all of these things comes under wastages so what are the tools typically i, I use few tools typically one is vsm 5s and kazen vsm is where three layers are important one is value added value added meaning customer pays for it that means do it right at the first time all of things is value added so vsm what it helps is it helps to draw uh, what is essential what is value added what is non value added that means customer doesn't pay for it for example rejection scrap all of these things customer doesn't pay for it and then in between comes like value enabled meaning like uh, in this case customer doesn't pay for it maybe it is uh, regulatory or statute requirement then the next tool we have is 5s 5s is to the aim of 5s is to keep the shop floor to keep the offices clean neat so here it uses a 5s sort sort meaning like whatever the things are not required throw them off another one set in order set in order mean for everything there is a place we need to keep everything in that place set in order shine shine meaning like anything which is dust free and then standardization like anything which you do bring into a practice bring into documentations like you know the daily review so all of these log create a log and have a maintain the log sustain is for anything which we do to maintain the entire five years so that we need to document it kazen is k meaning change zen for better that means anything which we have a problem, business problem that we can bring the solution that is called Kazen. So in a nutshell, uh, Lean is focuses on streamline the processes by eliminating the wastages. So anything which is quick fix, we can use, very well use Lean concept. So on my left side, you see uh, if the impact is low, if the impact is high, and the cost is known you know the cost then you can go for lean if the impact is high and the cost is unknown then the best thing is to go to six sigma because six sigma requires analyticals statistical approach of finding out the solutions so then if you if the impact is low and the cost is known that's something we can use apply the common sense to bring the solutions so on my right side, you find a tree with the apples. This picture illustrates about if the bottom line, the dotted line, where you have a logic and common sense, that means it's a quick fix where you can apply case and technique and bring the solutions. Another layer is low hanging fruits. That means we need to use some quality control tools to bring the solutions. Another upper layer is the bulk of fruits process and uh, characteristic and we need to optimization we need to do that means we 
we need to use some kind of process uh, improvement and the last thing is where we can use dmac define measure analyze uh, improve and control that is for any of the six sigma that's one of the method it is used is dmac approach so one question could be do they complement each other can we use both the tools yes of course lean as you see here lean it reduces the wastages or it eliminate the wastages whereas on, on the other side uh, six sigma it reduce the defects okay in both the uh, both are the techniques to solve the problems so we can use lean and six sigma so let's talk about what is six sigma six sigma reduction of variation because the variation creates a problem that's the reason actually we need to arrest the variation it's a us uh, technique and it's uh, full of statistical analysis what's the goal of six sigma the goal of six sigma is reduce the variation to improve the performance and what approach does it use it uses the dmac approach define measure analyze improve control that is for the existing process or setup if you are bringing in the new process a new uh, process then we can use d define measure analyze design and validate so the summary is so in in this particular case you can see like the allowable limit is 3 point if it is 6 sigma if the process is 6 sigma that means allowable limit for defect is 3.4 per million opportunity for example if you're making 10 lakhs product or 1 million product that means 3.4 is the allowable limit you see here like if it is one sigma that means the yield will be 30.9 as it goes on if it is six sigma the yield will be 99.99967 okay then the defect rate will be 3.44 per million opportunities so in a nutshell i would like to conclude by saying lean focuses on eliminating the wastages and lean tools visa case and fires visual management and six sigma is reduce the variation and 3.4 defect per million opportunity and lean six sigma both come together one can lean can take care of the common causes and six sigma where a special causes where we can use the statistical approach to solve the problems thank you so much and if you have any questions please do write to abroad.quality1 at gmail.com thank you so much please like and subscribe have a nice day ahead